I have this. This is the motto. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I know the Dimitri and uh, Susanna as uh, very kind people, and they invited us to live in their house in Hydra, and that was somewhere in the 80th. Um, and I very much like the architecture. The, uh, what I like f f um, uh, really is that they are not exaggerating. They are not doing today all architects try to do things that are special, spectacular, and uh, um, just uh, too much, you know. And uh, in my opinion, and, and this is this is also the lesson from the Antano Kakis, is architecture is just what what needs to be, what is uh, say if you like logic. And what comes uh, just from from facts and from uh, uh, what people people need, and I think today there is an enormous degeneration, and I'm afraid that this degeneration of architecture takes command. That with the uh, the political uh, situation today. Uh, architecture is uh, considered something elitarian, and I hear last time the word elite every time over again. So there's coming a separation between normal people and elite, you know. And the elite is, is, is uh, considered as uh, uh, not for everybody and uh, something uh, special. We don't want to spend money on that. You know. mm -hmm. So I'm looking, uh, I'm 84 now, I'm supposed to stop, but I don't stop. But I'm looking for, um, let's say, the necessary, you know, not the, uh, and the necessary, uh, not by all means will be beautiful, but uh, there is some uh, connection between necessary and uh, beauty. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are musicians, and there is this famous uh, Schoenberg uh, quote uh, who said uh, something like, uh, I'm not uh, doing what others think is beautiful, but I'm just doing what is necessary, what I think necessary. And this necessity I'm looking uh, for. And I must say the Antonio Kakis, they are, what they are doing is, is looking for the necessary, for the, for the, uh, what you ought to do, what is good for the people. Uh, and, and, uh, and you don't get this spectacular architecture to say, wow, how is it possible? How could you make that concert hall on top of that other building, um, like they do in Hamburg, uh, uh, Herzog and Meron? Completely unnecessary, um, just uh, to be uh, a winner and to, you know. So I think architecture is in the in the wrong in the in the wrong uh, groove this moment, you know. And um, so, what we can learn from the from the from the Antonio Kakis is just being normal. Uh, I don't know whether they are modest. It's of course a good thing to say you, uh, that somebody is modest, but you don't need to be modest. You 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 just need to be precise. You 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 know. And their architecture is inviting. I remember their place in in um, Athens that you are uh, walking in a piece of furniture, something like, you know. I mean, this this house is, is, is just, 
a sort of labyrinth of spaces connected with steps and the idea of furniture and building is just equal you know you know yeah. so the the house is a is 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 a piece of furniture in itself you know so every point is looked after and there is this sort of sincere working on everything you know and um, <coughs> this is what we what we need today I, uh, I i think and i remember that that hydra even at that time and also um, athens was over overridden by tourists and that 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 is a real problem we have the same problem in amsterdam that you can't walk in the street because there are always tourists and they misbehave to me uh, because they feel free, they feel uh, they drink maybe, they take drugs and uh, you know everything. Yeah? So this is not, uh, this is not, uh, well economically it's okay, yeah? it brings money but uh, culturally it is, uh, it is an uh, a, 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 pro a problem, and now you have the refugees that are overriding um, uh, Greece, and and which is also which are who are also overriding our brains in the sense that this is a this migration all over the world makes the idea of homecoming of making home houses as homes uh, more uh, uh, topical you know that, that this, is, this is I mean Aldo van Eyck and I know the, the, the Anton Rekakis uh, via Aldo van Eyck Aldo van Eyck and Judem and, and we made uh, uh, friendship with him uh, Aldo van Eyck was also always claiming architecture is built homecoming. Mm -hmm. And I have always um, uh, have my doubts about that statement because uh, architecture is not only homecoming but it's also creating space and uh, uh, having an idea of the future and uh, space is looking ahead and uh, like the <coughs> like the birds they have their nests where they're living but to to get their their nurture their food they have to fly away in space and have to be in adventurous situations to get that that uh, to get that f food for their for the uh, small birds that are staying in the, in the nests. So there's always a dialectics of coming home and going out, and that's very important. But with this refugees, it's a very strange um, uh, dialectic. Now we have this, this problem of migration, and it will not stop will go on. Uh, the whole idea of homecoming um, uh, is put in another, in another light because the people who leave their homes, they are in space trying to find an, a new home, which is a completely new condition, you know. And this, this um, um, indicates uh, once more that we also with our architecture have to have to change I mean we we used to have social housing the idea of social housing uh, by capitalism completely collapsed you know there's no social housing anymore so what we need to find is simple necessary architecture made by simple materials of course we are globalistic 
but uh, we have to be near, more near, near our, our, our house, our, our side. And this is what the um, Anton and Kakis always have been doing. And so what I admire is their consistency in always staying with the necessary and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kenneth Frampton was calling this a critical, uh, ra um, uh, what was it, critical regionalism, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, this is of course, uh, 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 the Antone Kakis is, is, is one of the best examples of what, what Kenneth Frampton was saying. Use the materials you have, um, make your buildings in such a way that they are part of of the of the of the site, uh, not something like hmm. Here was a famous architect working. No, just um, low key. Hmm? And this this is the lesson I think from the Antonio you know? Is so. What I'm talking about is, in fact, is human dimension. Huh? And this, this will be beautiful, I'm sure. Huh? But we are not going to start with the idea, I have to make something beautiful, no. Make something necessary, to the point, and I promise you, it'll be beautiful.